And they take on this side the or Orchids. Kevin Walters in commentary. And we welcome Maddie Studden for the first time. Good to have you with us, Maddie. Thank you. I'm so excited to watch this game. The Gillaroos have been superb uh, right across the park. Are, are you su pleasantly surprised? We know they're the best team, or certainly have been the last couple of years. Just how much better they've been in the competition up to this point? Yeah, definitely, and especially their back line. Um, you just can't complain with it, and they've just been putting on the show uh, this weekend, and, yeah, they've just been killing it, and, uh, yeah, pretty much to be proud to be Australian. Yeah, they uh, will play the final against either New Zealand or England, and those two will meet after this to decide... Who will and that's a lovely touch with the uh, kangaroos there clapping the Jullaroos on the field. Spent a bit of time together over the last uh, few days getting ready for this tournament. And Kevy, I think we're going to get a bit of brutality here. It, yeah. It's been the theme of this women's competition. Their hits have been big. Yeah, they've been very physical, haven't they? Both of these sides. There she is, Elsie. She doesn't miss. And the Kummels, they have gone down to England and New Zealand. Their final hit out for this tournament. And let's see what the Jullaroos have in store for us. Led by Ali Brigginshaw, who's playing again, rested from this one. Millie Boyle, Jess Sergis, and Kira Dibb. It's still an awesome Jullaroo side out on the park. And that's Shaley Bent, who is uh, claimed here with the Jullaroos coming off a 42 to 4 destruction of England a couple of hours ago and now Tungai down the sideline beats one beats another now ankle tapped and brought down just inside the 30. a couple of tackles left here for the Jullaroos Zaps picks it up Brigginshaw the star of the tournament doesn't quite get that one out of the middle but it's still a result Penatani with still a couple of tackles left here, she gets rid of a couple of defenders and they'll have one more shot at the Gillaroos here. Now Aiken waits a dummy half. Now on to Vetty Welsh. Oh, look at the numbers out here. Brigginshaw, apps. Oh, yes. Tungai, saloon passage. Yeah, one possession, beautiful. one score. Yeah, that was all the way through the hands from the other side. So, yeah, they've done that fantastic. And, yeah, well deserved try. Well, the skill level here again from the Australians, just transferring the ball across the field. Nice passing, beautiful hands, all ball out front. They had the numbers, as you said. Excellent try here from the Australians to open the scoring against the, the PNG side. Not a bad strike, but uh, will fade away and fall in front of the post. 4-0 to the uh, Gillaroos. Shaq Tungai scored in the previous game. That's her second try for this tournament. Must be nice to be cheering on Ali Brigginshaw, Maddie, instead of her being the opponent. Yeah, no, no, she's been unreal and she's been um, outstanding this tournament. And, yeah, she, she's very good half and um, very proud of how she's been playing this year. So well done to Ali. So here come the uh, Orchids now. Uoravu, look out for her, the number one. Very, very zippy. And of course, we've talked about Elsie, the uh, imposing player on this team. Here's Janet Johns running into Southwell. And also Harden. Now here's Ario up to halfway. Despite not uh, being on the right side of the scoreboard, the Orchids, they haven't really panicked with the ball in hand. Although there's Brigginshaw rushing up. And forcing an error out of Shirley Joe. She can't get rid of it, Shirley, before the changeover. So now the Gillaroos a chance to go back to back here. As Davis plays it for Brigginshaw. Now here's Apps. Pushing away from Anjo. But a nice tackle underneath the ribs there. And Bravo. Comes back to the open side. Brigginshaw. Southwell. Now to Vetty Welsh. Well, she lost it, and the Orchids come up with it. Yeah, good rushing defence there from the Orchids, forcing the Australians, putting them under pressure. It's a good way of play against them. You stand back and watch, you will get scored on. There's Elsie. Good carry. Yeah, that's, uh, that's been all mark of the tournament as well as some of the big hits, particularly uh, yesterday against England. Surely Joe gets over halfway. Now here's Anjo, the governor, up to the 30. And it takes all of Kezi Yap's strength to bring her down. Out. 
So Andre will play it here as the last is signaled. He's now for Watego. A dinky kick. Bounce a little awkward, but still cleaned up in the field of play. And now, hello. It was an imposing run, which comes to an end. 20 metres short of halfway. And Julia Robinson gets the Jillaroos off to a good set, good start to this set. Here's Harden. So just the one try so far. But we know the Jillaroos, when they get going, they can put on points quickly. And out it comes now for the fullback, McGregor. There's no one in front of her. Goodbye. McGregor will improve the spot, get the extra point. And the Jillaroos get their second. Yeah, that's fantastic about Corbs. Um, she's been going on real and once she gets in the space, no time to stop her. No, again, Brigginshaw spotting the space on the edges. And McGregor, well, she finished it off. And running around too is very important, getting that bonus point. No orchids stopping her getting into that, that zone. Excellent work again from the Australians. So Ellie comes off for a rest. Got all the big games coming up here from Bankwest Stadium. The men's semi-finals coming up in the next uh, hour or two. The women, it's a uh, it's a final only. Oh, there's a boo-boo. There's Rita Carpo putting it down. So it will be Australia versus the winner of the New Zealand Ferns or the England Lionesses. And that will be decided straight after this game. Hannah Southwell, past one, past another for the line. Oh, yes. And under the bar as well. Five points if you don't mind. Yeah, that's a double up on the five points. Hannah Southwell just charging onto the ball. Little overs run, good fend, good strength to get over the line. He's been dominant today as well. Good carry, that's a strong run. And conversion complete. The Aussies piling on the points. Well, the Jillaroos and the Kangaroos, very warm favourites before the tournament started to win their competitions. I don't think, Kevy, we've seen too much to persuade us. No. I think that, that that's how it's going to end up. Yeah, they've been very dominant, both the men's and the women's team. But as we know, with nines football, anything can happen. Well, you know New Zealand and the men, if they can put it together, then, uh, they can be a real threat, even though Australia did handle it fairly comfortably last night. And still two and a half minutes to go in this first period. And this is shaping as a third thumping win in a row for the Jillaroos. They really made a statement last night with a, with a comfortable win over New Zealand. And put away England so easily this afternoon. And here's Carol Francis in the pass. A support player who's swallowed up there by Davis and also Southwell. So Brown plays it and on the final tackle, Carpo with the midfield bomb. Easily taken by Tungai. There he goes, Tungai. Just as she was warming into it, cut down. Now Aiken now. Gets it on here to Robinson. In fact, no, that's Vetty Welsh. Gets it back in for Bent. Shaley Bent up to the 30. Still got plenty of tackles left here, the Jillaroos. There's a little darting run. It's almost draws a result. Now on the next play, comes out to Kelly. Kelly, a two on one, too easy. Penitani, she's got another. Yeah, that was just good eyes up footy on the short side and easy draw pass to Tiana. So that, yeah, that was a really good try. Well, again, the Australians exploiting this left edge of the Orchids. It's the numbers game again. Nice catch and pass. They look very fluent, the Jillaroos, don't they, with their catch and pass. It's all out front. It's all simple things, but very important to get that ball across the line. So that uh, conversion, nowhere near it. It's uh, Tiana Penitani from the Dragons. And that's her third tournament try, second today. Well, she nearly had four, didn't she, today? Just got pulled down short. Oh, and almost putting it down there, Janet Johns. A couple of plays left in this first half. Here's Ario. Into Carpo. Inside ball to Wong. So 
They're not throwing much here at the Jillaroos. As we get to the uh, likely the last play, as Albert goes down in the tackle. The siren about the sound. And she did well. One final play before we go to the break. It's Carpo looking left and going right. Watego with the kick. Backwards. Gregor leaves it behind her, but it's play on. And Ario, decent first contact. Held. And that holds McGregor up. And that brings an end to the first half. So the Jillera is well on their way at half time. It's Australia 22, Papua New Guinea nil. And we thank the teams for giving us such great access. Kevy, I think state of origin, that, that should be norm. We should be able to hear the Kevy Walters halftime <laughs> speech. Didn't want to hear it in Perth, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. Look, it is great access from, from all coaches and, and players. Great to get inside the inner circle of all the teams and hear what the coaches have to say. It's been a great, great day of nines footy and plenty more to come just yet. So, yeah, it will be New Zealand, England to decide that uh, final spot. It's been, Maddie, about two and a half years since the Jillaroos have lost in any form. It really is an outstanding record. Yeah, no, and there's always a lot of hard work behind the scenes as well. Um, there's a lot of camps going on throughout the year, and it's all the hard work they put on the off field as well. So, yeah, they're improving each year, and yeah, working for the World Cup, that's for sure. It's, uh, coming up in a couple of years as we get underway. The final, oh, the final nine minutes for Papua New Guinea, and it hasn't started well as here, Albert here, puts it up down. Here, up here, Australia, up here. And you get the feeling we've seen it in a few wait, of the men's wait, games wait, as well. Wait. Those teams that have very wait. little to play for, no, it can six, fall six, away six, rather quickly okay, and alarmingly doing? towards the end of their tournament. And the Jillaroos now looking for yet another no. try. And Shaley Bent captured Online. inside right the side, 10. Right side. Now there's numbers out here to the right. Vetti Welsh has spotted it. And here goes Penatani. She's got another. Yeah, that was a beautiful ball by, by Bo and a good finish off by Tiana. So well done. Yeah, excellent work again from the Australians. They're, I keep saying, but they're catching passes here. Look at these passes. All out front. Might sound simple, but it's a great skill to have to get that ball out front. And there's the simple try. Speed does the rest. So that's Tiana's uh, second four the afternoon and now doesn't make these conversions easy that's not a bad attempt she's having kevin that that's a pretty good shot at goal but from the men's and the women's having some of the drop kicks been atrocious this weekend there's been some some not so good but also some some delightful ones as well jermaine asako has been sliding them nicely for the kiwis it's one of those things you get the sense not practiced a hell of a lot in the limited build up to a nines tournament, but oh so important. Mitchell Moses, another one from, from the Australians who's been slotting them quite well from difficult positions. And here's Elsie. That's a good strong tackle. Look at that. The biggest uh, mass on the park for PNG, and she's been driven back for metres. Now, surely Joe takes them on. out here to the left. They've scored in each game, Papua New Guinea, is Albert. Nice uh, draw and pass there. And here goes Peters down the sideline. And lassoing her, Isabel Kelly. Last tackle here for the Orchids. Albert at first receiver. Does she know? Yes, she does. Flings it back. Joe picks it up. One tackle, Ken. Settles things down. Now to Francis along the line. Here it comes now to Ario. Puts boot to Paul. That's not a bad kick. That's a good kick. And McGregor just taps it over the side. Yeah, excellent work there, wasn't it? From the Orchids, just using the ball, realising it was the last tackle. We'll get another set here. Yeah, it's a good kick considering it was a fair way out from the in-goal area. 
A bit of luck down that left edge, the Orchids. That'd be trying to get down that side again. Clouds are taking over at some uh, stages here in Sydney, although the sun's broken through now. Hasn't really changed the weather. It's uh, quite steamy here in the west of Sydney. As you see Janet Johns provide for Heather Ario. The Cousins encourage her to play lead. She picked it up last year. Now here's Janet Johns to Angelina Otago. Macca comes to Ario. Now Shirley Joe. Her favourite player, Latrell Mitchell. Numbers left. And that's where they go. There's Janet Johns. Uh, pass which put Lakelia Brown in harm's way and she couldn't hold on to it, Lakelia. So that's a changeover. Maddie, can you see a weakness anywhere in this Aussie's defence? How are they going to get through here? No, I think they just never give up in defence. Um, you could just see Izzy had to um, go and chase that uh, down the sideline. She just never gave up and she got that tackle. So, yeah, they... <laughs> they're unreal in defence and attack, so it's pretty yeah. hard to beat. They're working hard for each other, aren't they, in defence? Yeah, that was the hallmark against England. They won 42-4, to four, but it was what they did in defence, which was the standout, because uh, England had some chances. Speaking of chances, now they go down the sideline. This is a terrific in and away from Julia Robinson, but just ran it up in time. Excellent tackle there by Uarathu. But if they spin it, they should score. Here it comes now from Harden, and Harden goes herself, taken by Ario. Aiken. Nice ball. Acres of space. Isabel Kelly will stroll over, and the Jillaroos crack 30. That was another nice ball by Taryn Aiken, and Isabel Kelly just got to finish off. Yeah, very strong again through the middle, weren't they, the Jillaroos? Just bringing little short passes, and then that brought the... Orchids defenders in, and then on the outside where the space was, and they got the ball there. Kelly going in. She's had a good game this afternoon. Good defensive work. And that one misses again, so 30 points to nil. Isabel Kelly scored one earlier in the tournament. Now she comes off for a rest here. Yeah, a well-earned rest as well. Orchids will bring it back here. That's Catherine Anjo. And now Keelia Brown. She's got them backpedaling here. That's a good, strong run. So three and a half minutes to go for the Orchids. We will see the Jillaroos in a couple of hours for the final. Here's Melissa Peters. Nice uh, tackle around uh, the waist there from Brigginshaw. Now to Gloria Cowper. And she dishes off, finds Rosguida Capo. Oh, and then the pass to Wong, who did well to hang on to it. So final play here. Swung back in field. Ario, tricky kick. And put down. And it's six more as it comes out here to Albert. Albert for the lob. Well, who's going to stop Elsie Albert from there? She carries the Australian defence, then she carries a teammate for good measure. Yeah, my word. Some good reward there. The bomb going up, it has got to be spilt. They pounced on it. And over she goes. She deserves that try. Trying to get the bonus point there as well. Good smarts. Not quite there, though. Kick is good. 30 to 6. So they have put points on the board in every match in this tournament. Start. They've gone short. Mightn't surprise that Elsie Albert has uh, trained as a boxer. Had a test debut this year against uh, against Fiji. Now inside the last two minutes here, Brigginshaw, oh, through the hands of Janet Johns, but not taken by McGregor. So the Orchids a chance for back-to-back -back tries here. Yeah, they'll get another chance here. Hold here when you're ready. And we conceded four tries all tournament, the Jillaroos. Yeah, I like the way they work hard from each other, for each other from the inside. Looks to be good communication in their defensive line as well. If you're stopping points, you don't have to score them, do you? Here's Peters. She runs into a dead end. 
Yeah, comes back to the open right. And the dummy does not fool the defence there of Julia Robinson. So inside the last minute we go. Peters gets up gingerly. Now he's Capo. Gone to Cowper. Let's dish off there. He comes back to Calpo. Now here's Janet Johns against the grain. Oh, good contact. That was Hannah Southall down low. Two tackles left. Peters. Capo. They see something on the left, but a wild pass there from Watego. Good pass. Change it over just up here. And the Jillaroos might get a couple of plays before we're done. So good effort from the Orchids in their second period. This game was well and truly over at half time. And they've hung in there. They've hung in there all tournament, to be honest. Teddy Welsh goes down the middle here. Now Hannah Southwell, the last play of the game. Southwell offloads. Now the ball distributed along here to McGregor. Dangerous, over halfway. Well, that was Harlem Globetrotter stuff there. The no-look pass to the sideline. One of the few things the Jillaroos didn't get right all game. Well, who's going to stop them? New Zealand and England will decide who plays Australia in a couple of hours in the final. But my word, they look awesome. Australia, comfortable winners over Papua New Guinea, 30 points to six.